guys, welcome back to Reseteer. I'm calling it Reseteer from now on. No, Reseteer. No, I keep calling it. Yeah, Reseteer. Reseteer sounds better. Anyway, I have just loaded up my save because. Oh, yeah, things look a bit different because I accidentally, um. Accidentally didn't save it. I thought it auto saved and then I forgot how to bring up the menu, so I just X'd it and then forgot that there was an actual, like, save game button. Anyway. I just had a quick chat to Fairy Woman and she basically said we could do whatever you like, we can open the shop, we can reorganise things, or we can go get stuff from around town. So, it is, as I said earlier, running a place like this is more of an art than it is something you can simply follow a map through. Simply pick something. We will deal with what comes. So basically, do what you like, do you like. Well, okay. What do I want to do? Let's go adventuring. I've seen screenshots and apparently we go play dungeony game. Let's go play dungeony thing. I think it's at the Adventurers Guild. Dungeony. Dungeony fun. Give me dungeony fun. Say, what's this place? This is the Adventurers Guild. The guild manages expeditions to the various untamed wilderness areas or abandoned ruins near the city. The area is commonly referred to as dungeons. Without approval, adventurers cannot visit the dungeons. Ah, oh, nuts. So we can't just go into a dungeon and pick up everything we see. If we could do that, we could sell everything we get at 100% profit. It is still a very good idea. A great many people have made fortunes that way. If you wish to do so, however, we must first hire ourselves an adventurer. Hire? Can I just pick anyone? The truth of the matter is a bit more complicated. Even if you pay them, few adventurers are willing to risk their lives simply for the benefit of a complete stranger. Ooh, so they turn away people they don't know very well. Indeed, you should first get to know a few adventurers and build up a certain level of trust with them. If all goes well, they will give you a symbol of their guild membership. This usually takes the form of a card. With that in hand, we can bring an adventurer with us. So it's like they're inviting us to a dinner party. Yes, yes they are. Well, dinner parties do not include blood-mad beasts attempting to rip you limb from limb. Well, the analogy does work somewhat. I don't know what parties she goes to, but mine have those. Mine have bloodthirsty monsters. Anyway, so first, I need to meet an adventurer. Mm, is there an app for that? No, I'm just kidding. Which for us should not be that difficult, yes? After all, we run an item shop, so we should get a few coming in as clients on a fairly regular basis. Dun dun dun! Oh yeah! Well then, I'll do my best to get a dinner invitation. I think she's missing the point. Indeed, just be careful that reset isn't on the menu. Ha! Ah, awkward! Awkward! Awkward banter, ha! Huh? Huh? Is something wrong? Well, that guy over there. Ooh. Boyfriend material? Or Hello! Missing man from Yu-Gi-Oh! Listen to me. Alright. If I can't work, I can't get the money. And if I can't get the money, I can't get the items. If I can't get the items, apparently I can't work. Mrow. Vicious circle, my friend. Heaven, if I had a few things, I could at least visit the Hall of Trials. Heaven? Do you mean heaven? Not sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. An adventurer. Maybe we should see if he is upright. I wonder what's going on. He seems to be a rookie adventurer complaining about his inability to complete the required guild test. What a surprise. Test? Well, the guild hardly allows anyone in off the street. You can only work officially for the guild after passing a test. An item shop owner is hardly the only one. Job with challenges. Dun dun dun. Hmm, I have an idea. Wow. I do believe we found our first adventurer. I believe we may have done it as well. I'm a very clever of you. Wait, what do you mean by a tear? Wait, I'm calling a tear and I don't even care. Rested tear, rested tear. That must be rested tear if I'm calling a tear. Red tear. Son of a. Uh, I burned what cash I had just getting to the city. I can't get into the dungeon. I don't know what I'll do. Now I'm hungry. Great. <laughs> Pardon me a moment. You there, adventurer with the seedy look. Seedy look, that's rude. 
Uh, who are you calling CD? Uh, uh, well, you two would be... We are a pair of merchants who happen to be passing. Merchants? Oh, you heard me talking. Sorry, but I'm way too broke. And CD to buy anything. Ha, rude. Believe me, I could tell by your seedy nature that attempting to sell you anything would be a colossal waste of time. Come on, play nice, kids. Come on, Tia. Tear. 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 Stop with the seedy already. He isn't a plant. So are you two going to prune me or what? Here, that sounds unnecessarily sexual. Ha, ha, ha. Would you like it if we came with you to the Hall of Trials? If you require equipment or items, we can provide you with them. I'd call you a pair of angels then, but why? Well, she has got wings. She's like a fairy thing. Business, naturally. We help you pass trial. You provide us with your card. Oh, I get it. We help Swordsman clear the dungeon, and then he gives us his card, a sign of our eternal friendship. Aww. Eternal friendship is rather irrelevant in this case, but it does work out neatly for all of us. What do you say? I see. You guys are pretty new at all of this too, huh? Uh, offer, Mr. Swordsman. Yes or no? Really suck if he said no. Take forever. Yes. Alright then. Heck, I got nothing to lose. Too right, mate. Well, aside from my precious life, anyway. Yay! Glad to meet you too. Uh, I'm Reset. Nice to meet you. I am Ter. Rawr. Call me Louie. Louie the Swordsman. Good to meet ya. Yes, yes. Now then, we will begin all of the preparations for a dungeon visit, including a visit to the central market to pick up food and other restorative items. We will then return here for you when we are ready. Right, I'll be waiting here. So we need food and restorative item. Got it. What did she say? Market or town? Set? No, I'm pretty sure it said market. Buy stuff. We need foods. Foods. How much money have we got? Not much. Hmm. 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 I have to buy two bits of bread, I reckon. Medicine. What's that? Famous mirror or something. See, we want that next time. We're about. Right, I'm sure two bits of bread will do. We will go fight the whole other dungeon with two bits of bread. Let's go. So, blimmin' heck, you can have so many items. So, number one, number two. Done. So you can have like a million items set to him. Or like set to your inventory to depart with. The Hall of Trials. Well, this looks quite cool. So this is the dungeon. Just so. Welcome to the jungle, as they say. You know, I'm just going to hold Louie back here. I mean, I'm not a monster slayer. I'm scared. The two of us are perfectly safe. There is a protective field around the two of us. To the monsters, we may as well be invisible. Really? That's amazing. So Louie is perfectly safe too, then? Well, no. Oh, why not? While in the field, we do not need to worry about monsters. But this is accomplished by making us virtually intangible to everything inside this place. We can directly manipulate now. Wait, we can't collect things. Why are we here then? That's why our adventurer remains outside of the field. Oh, I see. He'll pick the stuff up for us. Should our adventurer be injured, we can place him in the field and retreat. Since we must carry him back, however, we can take very little else with us. One item at the most. What? So even if we run into trouble, we don't lose everything. But wait, I thought you said we can't. Yes, I will elaborate further if need be. Naturally, if we get out safely, we can bring as much our bags will allow us to carry. Cool, wait, as much as our bags will allow? Well, our bags are not bottomless. If we run out... It's up to us to decide what we keep or discard, so the adventure focuses on adventure while we keep track of what loot he should keep. Does that mean I'm giving him the loot? Or, like, him to keep as in, like, him to keep for us to keep? I guess that makes sense. 
Okay, okay, let's get down to it. Equip items in back. Yes. Oh my gosh, how cool. I need to check my config file to see what my buttons are. Oh my god, I'm the dude. Die, bizatch. Die again. Oh my god, there's a chest. This is the best day ever. Ha, you died. I don't know what these points do. Get the feeling like they're like adventurer XP. Because the way I'm playing this is kind of cut the bottom of the screen off. Because if I stretch the screen, like during gameplay, it freaks out and like, whoops, like slows everything down so it doesn't like sync up. The audio doesn't sync for some reason. Let's go, spaghetti -o. Let's punch this. <gasps> what? Nope. Ooh, toy. Oh, yes, we got something. Oh, what else is there? I want more toys. Oh, there's another chest in here. Okay, if you guys look at the bottom right, there's like a mini map. Ooh, what's going on? Ah, oh, best hit ever. Blue thing. Slime fluid times two. Ooh. Oh, ow. Ah. Maybe we don't walk into that. What does X do? Ooh, X does like super. Oh, okay. X is like special power. How about C? C doesn't do anything. Let's whack this. Oh, shit. Run. Shit. Run. Oh, this is not going well. Is it just me or is this lagging out? Is this how the gameplay is meant to be? And they're definitely getting like quicker. Need to just make sure I'm not in that gap when they go all funny. Now run. Kill. Kill. Yeah. I really wish I knew what these little jewellery things are doing. Oh, where am I going? So I've done the chest in here. I don't actually know if there's an end to this. I'm assuming there is. How about stuff in the hallway? Nothing in the hallway, just dudes. Ha, back attack. Yeah. Why do I keep using my huge mungus attack by accident? What? Caution what? <laughs> not cool. Did not know that was a thing. So I saw caution. I was like, what? More aliens? Yeah. <laughs> Die. So there's not actually any loot in here. Missed. But we can keep getting those cool shiny things. I wonder if these get given to the adventure man. So there's nothing in here. I don't want to fight him. He's boring. Let's go see if we can find something else down the way. I hope those stupid boulders don't appear again. Maybe there's like the tripwire things. How do I heal myself? W. No. Ooh, equip. How about that? Z. Ah. Why can't I? Why can't I go? Why can't I go? Whoops. No, 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 no. I wanna equip the walnut bread. Ah, okay, what's this again? Ah, so I can't swap with anything anyway. Okay, ignore that. Gosh, I need to check my key bindings. They're in the config file. Like, I'm pretty sure you had to set them, like I had to set them up when I first got the game. Or it might be set to default and I just said leave it, I can't remember. And if it, that looks scary. Let's hit it, oh nothing. What do we do now? What do I do? Ah, okay, just walk into it. Oh god, there's a floor too. This is not going to end well. Come on, my man. Why is this, like, scary triangles? Ooh, what's this? Ingredient. Die. Okay, so this seems easy enough. Oh, I shouldn't speak to it. What are you? You're a red one. 
Yeah. Oh, that didn't even kill him. Oh my god, he's got mad HP. Ooh, sword, 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 sword. Oh my god, I'm going to bring back so many things for so much cash money. Pacha. Ooh, music. So that's a good thing. Oh, yay, a sword. No, not a sword, a staff. I want that. See, what I really should be doing is trying to remember which ones are worth the most money. So if he does die, which he probably will, we'll take the most valuable thing with us. I think it's the magician's staff at this point. Sheet. Sheet. No, not fair. Oh, okay, so our health went back up because we had the food and it just automatically eats it when you're about to die. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I thought we'd just get cheated and just die. Die a hideous death. Ooh, love it. like stuff stuff. Oh, we're going to get so much stuff. It's going to be awesome. We're going to have the best item shop around. I'm just going to go to the next level because I'm kind of scared it's getting too good to be true and I'm going to die at the last second. What? What did you say? They all just make funny noises. Like when they're not talking. They say blah 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 blah. And now we try to kill the things. Slash. <laughs> Run away. Oh, this is not going well. Okay, I'm gonna run away now because I'm too scared. Too many bad things. So there's the next level already. I just want to find a chest, really. So hopefully, it hasn't got any bad stuff in it. Yay, chest! Alright, let's kill these two bad men. What the hell is that? Oh my gosh, nope, not having a conversation with him. I reckon he's just to block the way so you can't get through. We need to get you a better sword, mate. You're kind of crap at the minute. Or a better adventurer. Slime fluid, I don't know what that does. I'm assuming it's needed for something. Oh shit. <laughs> get me out! No! Oh, what? Now I'm mad. Why did I die? Oh, that's not fair. Ah, not fair. We pick one thing I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. So we need, right, I reckon. Blah, blah, special little box, one item. Okay, blah, blah, can't fit much in there. Blah, blah, choose carefully with me, pick one to make sure it's valuable. Oh, maybe it'll tell me. Maybe I'll have to remember. Oh, this sucks. We have to make sure we like have this store open for a day and then buy loads of restorative items, like medicine and shit. Right, so we need to pick what we put there. Right, 1200. Yeah, I thought it would be the magician's store. Storf? Staff. There we go, we'll keep that. Oh, that sucked anyway. Do we have stuff? Do we have enough... No, we don't have enough money to buy anything. We need to go back to the shop. Put our new magician's staff down and try and sell some stuff. Thanks for... Oh, I think it's sleepy time. You also did well. You look tired. Get some rest. Thanks, mate. Daily profits. Minus 930. Great. Great job. Like father. Thanks. Like father. Like door. So he was obviously a screw up. That's why we have to pay lots of money. To the woman. Oh, what now? What do you want? You always start off your day by whinging. May I have a moment, please? Yes, you can. As long as you shut up. Sure, what's up? Concerning the debt, I have a suggestion. You do. Paying it all back at once is wholly beyond your means, so I recommend smaller weekly payments to chip away at it. Wholly beyond, uh, you know. You never told me how much big... How, how big Papa's debt is, exactly. That is because you would faint if you found out. For now, it is a secret. Oh, great, it's like millions of pounds. I, I'd faint. As the store begins to build up steam, we will increase payment size. Oh, 10,000 picks. I have 70. Great. Good start, mate. Good start. We're on day three already. The repayment date currently... Blah, 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 blah. Repayment date nearest to the current date along with the amount due will be displayed on the calendar in the main menu. Please be sure to check it. Okay. Done so. Right, let's... Right. Put staff down. Go. Right. Staff down open shop because we need lots of money 
Let's go sit our bums down. Yeah, so if we open the shop and then try and sell loads of stuff and then look at restorative items maybe. Hi. Aw, daddy present. Don't care. Give me all your money. There we go. Let's throw 123. Can I pay a little less? I ain't got any money. I'm a little girl. Okay. Thank you so much. Glee, I saw two souvenir charm, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, looking at the time, I'm actually going to end the episode here. Oh, hi, welcome. And I'm going to end the episode here and start the next one exactly, like, right here. So I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.